Okay, so just in a minute, I'm about to show you the next exercise that can help you to fix your asymmetry, right asymmetry of the pelvis, of the whole body. But be before that, I need to do the, some small introductions to say a couple of words about purpose of that exercise. Because you see, I cannot show you the exercise. You cannot perform those exercises without any consciousness. You need to engage your willpower, your consciousness, your intelligence in order to understand what is going on. If you will just repeat the movement, you will not be successful with fixing your asymmetry of the body. So previously, what I did, I showed on my channel, YouTube channel, some couple of the exercise in lying position. Remember, I asked you to put the feet on the wall, to feel the feet and to do some movements. Right now will be just a little bit harder exercise. It will be the progression. You see, because we all need to fix how our body is walking on the ground. Our goal is not to fix the pelvis and the body while you are laying. You need to do the exercise at standing position. So right now I will show you this, ex this exercise, this standing position exercise. A little bit explanation. We all who are suffering, I don't know, piriformis syndrome, groin pain, SI joint pain, lower back pain, most of us or most of those people who will watch this video will have a pelvis that slightly or significantly twist or rotated to the right side. But your pelvis, it's not just rotated to the right side, it's also hiked up, okay? It's twisted to the right and hiked up. The whole right side is constantly compressed. Your brain knows how to put weight and to be stable on the right side and how to do the step forward or flying with your left leg. You need to reteach your brain how to be stable on the left side. So this exercise will teach you and help you how finally to be stable on the left side. So feel the left leg, the stability on the left leg. Feel, you may feel the left hamstring, left inner thigh group, left glute meat. Okay, have a nice viewing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, bend both knee. Mm -hmm. it, it was good. Mm -hmm. Just flex this and this. Both. Both. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And now, don't be too. Yes. Mm -hmm. And be sure that it's just gently here. Mm -hmm. And be sure that you are not backward mm -hmm. and you are not forward. Mm -hmm. That you are just here. Okay. And take care about this. Mm -hmm. Not to go inside. Mm -hmm. Can you see? This foot goes inside. Mm -hmm. So, what I need? Mm -hmm. Have a look at me. Mm -hmm. This is here mm -hmm. and this is only here. So you put it, you can't go uh -huh. inward. Okay. okay, and go a little bit forward to be sure mm -hmm. that the... Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, I listen. Okay, so now flex both knees. Yes, stay here. And now start to extend only the left one. Only the left. Yes, just stop. Take care not to go to the full extension. Mm -hmm. Now you should feel better the left leg, yes. perfect. And right now relax this and move the right one back. The right one, yes, just relax. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is elongated, this is working with breathe out. Mm -hmm. Remember that you are still here, mm -hmm. you can't move back. <clears throat> Remember that it is a full of relax, mm -hmm. okay and breathe five times in this position three five times and if you'll but you will be stable just relax this relax 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 this yes okay and then the next step is the next step is to stay in this position okay and we breathe out mm -hmm. to move this heel mm -hmm. here yes and then let the knee go forward okay yes you should feel this yes okay without this and relax this only this 
and relax this and stay only here. Okay, that's it. Okay.